Hey guys, Geek Alchemy here today. Technically the same day for me, but different day for you. I am finishing that double batch of coffee for my frankincense and myrrh soap. Sorry, off camera. Frankincense and myrrh fragrance oil. I know it's not the essential oils, but nobody wants to pay those prices. I'm using wild harvested myrrh gum powder in this batch. I don't want to take too long describing this because as I said, this is the coffee recipe and this is as fluid as I'm going to get it. So I'm going to just right here, right now, add my fragrance oil hand stir it in hopefully it will thin out a bit and then i can if it's possible take a small portion out to keep it natural soap color which will probably be a nice cream and then what little i don't have separated i'm going to put in the myrrh powder Okay, that made it a little more fluid. That's nice. I'm gonna stir a little bit more. If you're curious if I'm gonna put this in a loafer mold, I'm gonna put it in my small bar mold. Which quite honestly, I think I need more of. I think I need to go on a slight spend spree and get me some more of it. All right. I'm going to call this good, just in the interest of time and all that jazz. I'm going to take a couple scoops off, just a couple. And we're going to put, actually I'm going to get some distilled water for this and then I'm going to put it in the batter just to make sure, you know, that I have some more wiggle room with time because I have a feeling I'm going to need to mix it up with my immersion blender. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I ended up, of course, making a mess when I used my frother. And uh, maybe a quarter of it got onto the, onto the work station here. So I had to clean that up before I could keep going. I was not expecting such a nice rich color out of this. This is a very nice warm auburn type brown and I think this is gonna work perfectly with the white swirl that I plan on. Somewhere between a half an ounce and a full ounce actually made it in here and it definitely improved the creaminess. So I'm pert darn happy about it. All right, so let's go ahead before we lose our creaminess here and start plopping in some of the uncolored soap. And of course, I'm getting some way up the handle so that it gums up my gloves. <laughs> All right, so I'm done being nitpicky. That is that. Setting this to the side and let's give it a nice swirl fold. Delio. All right, and that's that. I don't want to over stir it because it's going to be in these molds and you're not going to see it otherwise. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have a towel right here because, well, if you didn't watch the last video, 
uh, I ended up having way more trees than I expected in my, huh, actually I haven't even named the soap yet. It's, the title of the fragrance is Northwood's Christmas. It's definitely not what I planned on naming it though. Well, I'm sure I'll put it in the title. So it'll probably be confusing why I don't know it right now. <laughs> All right. But anyway, that soap, I had way more batter than I thought would fill. I shouldn't have done it in the pot swirl. I should have done it a plop plop type of swirl. Fooey. I keep getting off track. Bah! Okay, anyway, so the whole board I, I planned on using the other half for this soap and like I said, I ended up using all three of my tree molds thinking that I'd only at most use one and a half for whatever reason. <laughs> and yeah, so that board was used and it's currently on my shelf. And so I had to grab a cookie sheet in order to have a hard surface. <clears throat> and the only cookie sheets we have in this house are aluminum foil, or aluminum rather. And if you know anything about soap making, aluminum and soap, or lye, they just don't mix. It makes a horrible, horrible chemical reaction that you don't want your nose anywhere near. So in order to protect myself. I wrapped it up in this here towel. Oh, see that? That's pretty. And you're probably not going to see it until you start opening the soap up by, by you know, washing it. Washing with it. Oh, it makes such a mess. Such a darn old mess. That's all right. So making is messy. If you are the OCD type where everything must be super clean, soap making might not be for you. <laughs> Using soap, of course, is, but the making might not be. All right, pounding again. Oh, I hate to mess this swirl. It looks nice. Nice and subtle. Fooey. Oh, man, I'm going to have to mess it. do something pretty for the tops. This is just not going as planned. And I know I can hear you back there. You're saying, hey, there's one or two molds that are missing some tops to it. Don't forget them. And I'm not, I promise. I really gotta do something nice for these tops. Man, fooey. Just plain fooey. I wasn't thinking. I'm just so ready to make these and excited and trying to get it going that my creative side is just being shut up by my anxious brain. 
Don't you hate when that happens? Such a pain in the tush. That is way more than I thought. Dang it. Again, trying to do really nice colors on the top and being foiled. Foiled! All right, guys. Through telepathy and time. Help me figure out a t nice looking top for this. I need to do something nice. Like I said, man, when you open this up, these are going to be beautiful. When you start peeling back the layers, so to speak, when you're washing, it's going to be so party. But help me through time and space. Get out your decoder rings or whatever it is, your blue boxes, something. Your steampunk looking chairs with a wheel of fortune wheel behind it. <laughs> All right, now, just as an FYI, the myrrh powder in here, I do not expect it all to feel textured when you use it. I expect that it's mainly there because it's wonderful for the skin and also because, you know, color, pretty. Because that's what is a byproduct of putting in natural items. Oh, why isn't this perfectly flat? What's going on here? Come on, I can't have a cockeyed soap. All right, one last pounce. Hey, I didn't tell you to pop out. Get back in there. See if I can do anything with a spoon. It's nice and spiky, but out of the mold, I don't think that's going to look very nice. Yeah, long ways. There we go. Long ways. Let's try that one again. Let's try that one again. Scrapey off the edge. Alright. So we got six, nine, we got, wow, pound and a half gives me ten when two pounds normally give me twelve, something. My math, my math is wrong somewhere. Maybe the, maybe there's less water when I make my lard soaps. Who knows? Maybe that's why. Come on. Why is my hand just not working right with this one? 
I mean, I guess it's not really that much different from the others. That's a little bit, that's a bit better. Bit to bit to bit to bop. Don't ask what that was. Because I don't have an answer. Clean up the edges and I think we're good to go. I have just a wee bit over here, but I don't even think that's going to be enough to make a guest soap. We'll see. I'll show you pictures probably on Instagram and maybe even Facebook and wow I really should have thought that through better it's not bad but you know mental notes for another time well guys frankincense and myrrh it's a classic classic fragrance for Christmas especially in certain churches And it smells lovely. I hope you guys are having a great day or a night, whichever you happen, whenever you happen to be watching this. And I hope I see you in the next video. Remember, if you liked this, share it, thumbs up, all that, all that good stuff. I love you guys. Peace. Bye.